pay is poor. But at least I won't be idle. Well, at this point, nothing is too small. How are you? Won't you answer me? Why did you even come out this early? It's quite unusual. Anyway, it's my call. What is wrong with me? Since they spoke with me, I have been completely restless. <sighs> God, what is going on? Am I completely worthless? When you are dressed up this early, I mean, where are you going to? Or oh, have you gotten a job? Yes. And you did not even bother to tell me. So you insult me the more? Insult you? I have been hoping that you will get a job. I challenge you so that you will do something with yourself. And here you are telling me that I will insult you. Anyway, salary is small. I mean, small. As in what range? 10,000 naira. 10,000 naira. Young man, when I first came to the city, my salary was 6,700 naira. <laughs> 
6,700 for a salary. Man, have hope. <laughs> So how well did you know this man? I met him through a friend. Hmm. Such is a perfect friend. And don't lose him. It's okay. Hmm? It's okay. Everything will be fine. Market to get some stuff so I can prepare dinner. Uh, um, let me see. Okay. Um, ah, 
Take this. Buy whatever you think is good for dinner. And you know you need to start saving. David knows I'm not happy with him. Yet he acts as if all is well. Anyways, I will take the money. But we can never be close like we used to be. I can't wait to move out of this apartment. Edward has been rude to me, and yet I lost my job because of him. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Um, sir, why do you always sit down here? I mean... Hmm, let's say I think very well, relaxing. But this one, your face is like this. Is anything wrong? It's my friend Edward. I mean, he bluntly refused looking for a job. He, he steals my money, goes out with my car and gets in trouble. Hmm. I'm getting tired of him. Oh, no. Um, you just have to be patient with him. Yes, hmm? You know, some people are always uh, naive. They can be so naive. They do the wrong thing at the right time. So all you need is just to have patience with him. But sir, I've, I've tried my best. I've tried all I can. I know. You just have to be patient. You see, we all have problems. And training a child is one thing that parents must learn to do. The yes. aftermath of compromising, yes. training a child, and raising empire has caught up with me now. I am battling on how I can train my own child in the right way of life. What do you mean, sir? I mean, an old man like you shouldn't be thinking about things like this. Are you sure? Are you okay? If you need anything, I'm here for you. I really well, would love uh, to help. I'm okay. Don't bother about me. Bother about yourself. Okay, so. How is uh, Edward's mom and Tessie? They're fine. They're doing real good. Good. Uh, you know that you are a very good man. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. You like helping people. But don't worry. God will reward you. Thank you, sir. Very soon, this storm will be over. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, like I said, if you need anything, I'm here for you. Uh, I hope they're taking care of you here. Yes, of course. You know, you are just like a son to me. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. No problem, sir. What a surprise. Thank goodness. Oh, you are the one I actually want to see. I hope there is no problem. No, not at all. Okay. You see, the things you told me last time we met, okay. you made me reflect on my life. Wow. And I don't think I'm living a good life. That's Help me, David, please. Wow. Wow. It is not me that affected you but the Spirit of God. You see, Juliet, God was able to speak to you because your conscience is still alive. I will give you some Bible verse to help you build your feet. Wow, this is great. What 
happened? Why didn't he respond? He's just going through one of those phases in life. He will overcome it. Where is he coming from? That like he got so pissed off on seeing me. He's coming from work. Oh. Well, let's not forget. You didn't go out today. It's a long story, Juliet. Come on, make it short. I will understand. What happened? I I lost my job. What? Ah, never mind. It's, it's just one you... of those things. It's, it's okay. What did you just say? It's okay. It's okay. Oh my it's God. okay. Um. Here are the Bible verses. Um. Don't worry. It's okay. You can read them. Thank read you. Read them daily. Thank you. Empty. Empty. Sir, what do you mean by sales are going down? Uh, sir, um, uh, due to the epileptic economy that we're running and then the poor economy, uh, sales has been going down and uh, the economy is poor. And people are no longer buying products. Listen, I did not employ you for sales to start going down. All I need is result. Uh, uh, sir, if you check the financial uh, uh, reports of three, four, five years, you will find out that this company has been doing well. My team has been working. Uh, but of, of late, the economy has dropped. Uh, that's why sales is dropping. Now listen, yes, sir. you and your team should do something about this. Or someone will be fired. Uh, 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 sir, it, it has not got into that. We are doing our best. I have said it. I, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. But you see, we, we are going to do. do sorry that. for what? All I need is result. Not sorry.
go clubbing. You don't hang out with your friends. You don't even dress indecently again. What is happening to you? Father, I found a new life. Wow. That is very good. The other day I saw you reading the Bible. I was impressed. Dad, as a newborn baby, the sad is the semic of the world that ye may grow thereby. Mm. That is First Peter chapter 2, verse 2. Come on, Dad. Mm? I know you to be a very hard working man. A brilliant in business. Mm. Not Bible scholar. Oh. <laughs> Don't forget, it is the word of God that has taken me this far. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> My dear, I'm, I'm happy. Hmm? I'm happy. Keep reading. Keep studying the word of God. Things will be good for you. and attitude towards the discharge of your duties and responsibilities. Uh, you have handled a description that are far more than your job specifications. Oh God, what have I done? Oh, my enemies are at work. God, I'm not losing this job. Mr. Edward? Mr. Edward? Sir. Are you, are you with me? Yes, sir. Sir, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, Mr. Edward, there's nothing to sorry about. Is that clear? Anyway, uh, Mr. Peter here will be relocating to our headquarters in London. His hard work has earned him that promotion. And also, we have carefully looked into your performance and then uh, I will find out that no other person can replace Mr. Peters except you. Sir, I don't understand. Congratulations. You are now the new public relations officer of this reputable organization. I can't believe this. <laughs> Mr. Edward, congrats. I'm so happy for you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Congrats to you too. It's okay. Mr. Edward, a lot of benefits and allowances comes with that position. You were entitled to an official car and also a house and other allowances that will be disclosed to you in due course. Once again, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You know, you know, in paradise. Uh, HP. We appreciate good workers who have also labored and put in uh, enough service into these organizations. That's why we are quite different from other organizations. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. happy like this for a long time. Really? <laughs> My enemies have been defeated and those who said that my life is worthless have been put to shame. 
Did you win a jackpot or something? <laughs> jackpot. To me, it's more than jackpot. You know why? Because I have been promoted. I mean, I have accelerated from a position of lower concentration to a position of higher concentration in my office. Wow, that's wonderful. And that's not all though. He wow. came with a car, a house, and other good, good, amazing allowances. Wow, congrats. Really? Of course. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. This is this is just like a dream or something. <laughs> Come on, Edward, he, he deserved it for God's sake. Edward, have you forgotten he saved me from losing my job? <laughs> on, I am so grateful. I'm grateful. Forget about that. Forget about that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy Thank for you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Come, let me show you around. Let me show you. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since he left my apartment for his, I have not even set my eyes on him. I, I just hope we did not make a mistake on this. I am sure no mistake was made. But forgetting about his mother and his bosom friend, Tessie, is what I found unusual. But thank God we got the first part right. I'm still confused. I just don't know what to do. I think we should... Don't worry. I will tell you what to do. Now. Edward is so rude to me now. Have been treating me really badly. And ever since he has gotten this promotion, the situation is even worse. Oh, my picking. You are a good man.
business to you. Wow, mm. that's great. Good. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. Oh, uh, but Dad, there's something that has been bothering me. What is that that is bothering you? Just say it. As a father, I would do anything for you. Um, there's this my friend that I told you about. Your friend? I only know one of your friend. <laughs> Although I have not seen him, but I know that is the one that has changed the life of my daughter. Wow, yes, he's the one. So, so what happens? Uh, he lost his job and he has been jobless for some months. Wow. Such incredible man. So what is his profession? He's a business development strategist. He's a business development strategist. Yes. Okay, um, I would like to see him. I will need his services. In fact, I will give you the list of those that will be promoted in my company. And I need an assistant. So you will include his name. And I will decide the office that he will be assigned to. And as for you, you have to prepare yourself because very soon you will become the managing director of this company. Wow, Daddy! Who are you and what are you doing here? Sorry, sir. We were chased out from our house and my mother because we could not afford to pay our house rent. Sir, please help us. We have nowhere else to go. How is that supposed to be my business? Does this place look like a home for the less privileged or a charity organization?
Edward, have you lost your mind? What is wrong with you? Since you left my apartment for yours, you didn't even think it wise to call me. Or to even check on me. I call you and you won't even pick my call. What did I do to deserve all this? What you did? Huh? Have you forgotten the, the way you treated me simply because I had no job? Huh? You always reminded me of my of my joblessness. And now you 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 tell me. You call to tell me rubbish. Huh? How soon you forget things? Edward, I did not forget anything. All I did was to make you realize that you were a man. For you to at least start from somewhere. Wake up. Do something diligently and take actions. Those words, those words again. <laughs> exactly what I've done. Huh? Look, let me tell you something, Dave. I'm not a child. I know when I'm being maltreated. Okay? Oh, perhaps you've forgotten how you and that man almost got me killed. Edward, see, all I did and all we did in quote was for you. I, but what I see, you, you, don't, you still don't get the point. You don't get it. I won't call you again and I will not bother you anymore. Who cares? You can leave if you wish. Oh, Edward. See, if you really know how to think, if you remember like you say you do, when last did you remember your mom? Or even Tessie, your friend? See, these people, they never scolded you in your state of joblessness or do anything to hurt you. They made you comfortable. What did you not do to them? How come you forgot them? Edward, those who live in glass houses should not throw stones. Neither should a child throw stones in the marketplace. You never know who it will hit. My head that hit his mother or someone he loves. And I will never bother you again. Goodbye. David. David. David has given me a dose of my own medicine. I am getting to realize that I've forgotten about my mom and Tacy. After all the deed for me, God, what really happened between me and my friend David? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, the question is just impossible for me to answer. Where have you been, David? I've been around, my brother. I've been around. I've gone everywhere looking for you. I, I went to your office and I was told you're no longer working with them. What, what happened? Ah, Peter, it's a long story anyway. But to, to make it short, I was sacked. What? I was just going through a phase in my life. I was trying to help a friend who got himself in a police case. Wow, wow. This is unbelievable. David, I, I am really sorry about everything, okay? Hey, it's I'm okay, sorry. it's okay, it's okay. okay. okay no problem. How far have you gotten somewhere you're walking now? Uh, no, I'm, but I'm believing God for a miracle. You don't worry, okay? I'll, I'll talk to my MD. I think there's a vacant position in my office, okay? Yeah, thank you, thank you, my friend. Thank you, my friend. Ah, serious. I would appreciate it. If you can, because uh, cause I'm really going through a bad time in my life. It's fine, it's fine. I'll, I'll do my best. Okay. Uh, what, where, do you what are you doing here? 
Where are you coming from and where are you going to? <laughs> you know, God has been faithful to okay. me. Okay, he's know, always faithful. My company relocated me to London. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow, 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 big boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great. That's, That's amazing. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I um, like good news like this. Presently, yeah. our CEO. That's our guy, Wata yes, yes. I heard he want to select an assistant to hand over the company yeah. to. I heard he's getting old. That's yeah. why I'm here. Yeah. yeah. That's good. <laughs> I hope you're on the list. Well, I don't know yet. You know, like you normally say, uh, I'm believing God. You know, God works in a mysterious way. Wow. <laughs> he does, he does, he does. <laughs> I, really, I really thank God for your faith. Come on, David, he taught me all I know about Christ, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> well, I um, Man, I'm so happy to see David. And that reminds me, you, you stay here? Uh, no, 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 I don't. I actually came to see an old friend, an old friend. Just same here. I came to see colleagues that stays here. Okay. I, I came to inform me about the latest development in our company, so yeah. he gets himself prepared. Hmm. Room. That's very thoughtful of you, Peter. Hey, You're hey. a good man. You're a good what can person. I do? Yeah. <laughs> Don't well. <laughs> Thank um, you. Peter, I should be on my way. It's fine. So it's I fine. Have a lot of it's fine. It's fine. To I'm you. so happy to see yeah. you again. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> That's great to see you. Therefore, man, I really missed you. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. And what about your um, either your phone? Maybe we we'll talk later. What about that? Okay, okay. I'll s I'll send you a mail. I'll send you a mail. It's fine. Edward. Mr. Peter. Sorry, I didn't notice you. Edward, what is happening to you? What is wrong with you? I've, I've never seen you in this kind of mood before. It's a friend. He just left. He said something really terrible. A friend? Just left right now. Yeah. Why? The only person I saw why coming was a uh, David. You know him? Of course. You know him too. Yeah. <sighs> He's the one I said just left. You really know David? <laughs> oh my God! What a small word. Of course I know David. David is like a God sent to me. He was actually the one that gave me shelter. He gave me everything when I had nothing. He bought the bike I was using before I got a job. In fact, he was actually the one that gave me the link to the company both of us are working now. guy but what I what I don't understand is why he should be depressed because of David you won't understand yes of course there's no one I understand because you're not making it easy for me oh wait wait is it because of his condition what condition oh you don't know wait he lost his job as I speak to you now he's jobless how? Well, I, 
I don't actually know. I don't have the details to what really happened. But he said he was late to work and the company almost lost a potential client. So I, I don't know. The David is never late to work. I know him, he's always punctual. Yeah, that's true. But he said he was while trying to help a friend that was in a police station or something. I, I like I said, I didn't really get the full details of what really happened. I don't know. No! No, 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 no! Mr. Edward, is everything okay with you? Edward! What is it? I'm that friend. Edward, you? You mean David is going through all this because of me? This is bad. Edward. Where is he? Has he gone far? At the gate. Let's get him. Forget about it. happening to me? Why is everything working against me? <laughs> I think I need to seek the face of God. Yes. Yes. I need to embark on a three days journey with God. That's what I should do. Excuse me, good afternoon. Um, looking for Dave. David just went out now. Didn't you see him? No. I just left, not up to one minute now. But I didn't see him driving out. <laughs> Drive care. David, get motor. You don't sell the motor since. What did you just say? I see they come out now, self. Now, Bible ain't go for hand. Did I say, did I say, now church in the ground? No, no, no. I didn't say no, come back until three days' time or so. Oh. Okay. Thank you.
drive pass. Oh, wait, do I want to get Mozu? The hold the guy, he don't sell the motor. What? I swear that. <laughs> and I pray for that guy. Since, and since he lose his job, I think it's not easy for him. I beg, when I try to pray for him, it's very important. Sorry, sir. Yeah. What's happening here? What is it? Uh, who was that man? That man that just left? Just left, yes. That's our CEO. How sure are you? You mean you don't know him? That's our CEO. Okay, thank you, thank you. Is there anything in my life?
went out to look for a job, not minding the salary involved. That was when you took the action that completed the process. And God saw the need to bless you. Bless! treated you badly I want to see my mom I want to see Tessie your mom has been there she is within you but you were blinded with riches and your newly found comfort zone that you can't recognize Mother, Started when you tell me, say your friend David wants to kill you. Why would David do this to Edward? They used to be best of friends. Why would you want to do something to hurt Edward? No, I can't believe what this man of God said. God, I'm sorry, but I can't believe this. I think I should call David. Let me hear what he has to say. Eh? I don't know say he's a come. 
Edo told me some strange things on phone. So that was why I came, so that I could hear from him. I can't believe David can do that to him. Eh? Now the same thing will make me send for David. Me, I don't understand this whole thing where they happen. I don't understand that at all. Oh, ah. This is getting serious. That's him. Good day, Mama. Good day. Yes. How are you? Welcome, David. Mama, mm. uh, you sound so frightened on the phone. You see, the old man Edward spoke of is actually an upright man. He prefers taking you through life. Me, I don't understand. I don't understand what they go on. I don't understand. I don't know what to believe again. <laughs> Me, I don't understand though. I don't understand where all these things they go. Mama, calm down, calm down. You see, Mama, in order for Edward to take things serious, you have to let go of him and let him experience life for himself. <sighs> Don't you want to go do? Don't you want to feed you for my picking to succeed? Okay. okay, Mama, this is what we will do. You have to pretend like you are evicted from your apartment. Yes. I'll give you a place to stay so that Edward will come and stay with me. And for you, Tessie, stop communicating with him and don't give him any form of assistance. He has to do this himself. Okay, I understand. Uh, what you talk now, I know easy. But um, assistance in it. Abi? Let's it try it. It may work. It may work. Let's see. I know say, I know say, you know easy, but see what I'm. Mom, believe me, I'm now a new man. New man? We disguise ourselves like beggars to know your response. Who are you and what are you doing here? Sorry, sir. We were chased out from our house and my mother because we could not afford to pay our house rent. Sir, please help us. We have nowhere else to go. How is that supposed to be my business? Does this place look like a home for the less privileged or a charity organization? I'm sorry, sir. Will you get lost? Sorry, sir. Sorry. Nonsense. Mad people. Get lost. You chased us away. My dear, I didn't expect you to do that to the poor. No, I didn't. Daisy, please. Forgive me. How could I have known? You all did this for me. And yet I felt the little test that was put before me. I'm sorry. <laughs> to err is human. To forgive is divine. Mom, and embrace your son.
Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, please, sir, I'm looking for Mr. David. Mr. David is not at home. Oh, but he lives here? Yes, he lives here. Good. Uh, please tell him Mr. Balogu was here. Okay. And he should try to see me immediately. Okay, Mr. Balogu. Yes. Okay. Right. Uh, wait, let me give you something. Okay. Tell him to meet me at this address. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. I am getting old and there is need for me to shift responsibility. That the members of this company, your position is not changing. You must maintain your position. Why are point news tabs. Today, we are having a new marketing manager.
today, your life has changed.